Chill, bro. <laughs> Chill, bro. Go to a story. Yo, it's True Pack speaking more true facts. I just dropped my project for having no story. We gonna drop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's True Pack speaking more true facts. I just dropped my project for having no story. All platforms, and we gonna drop the heat. We done seen way too much, yeah. We done seen way too much. And these niggas do too much, yeah. And we here. Drop the heat on a very special edition right here at AN Studios. Yo, who are you, bro? Yo, it's True Pack speaking more true facts. True Packs, what's good, my brother? Yo, nice to see you again, Brody. Yo, no cap, man. It's been a little minute. It's been like, we did the last one last year. Yeah, We're here bro. again. Yo, this is this is the second interview we did. We did the first interview on live radio in Westchester, Westchester Community College. I want to say a year ago, True Packs was one of the first people that, that was on my show. He's here on the, se the second time. Today is what? June 1st? Today is June 1st, and today's the day that he dropped his long-anticipated album. What's the name of this album? Forever No Stojic. Why did you name this? Why did you name it Forever No Stojic? When I was recording this album, it felt like I was just going through mad stuff, bro. Like, I was going through a lot, and it felt like at the moment, I just wanted to be a kid again, man. I just wanted to go back in time. Shit felt like, it was, it was like way more simple back then, so I'm like, it's like I'm going to be like that forever, man. No cap. That's what I was going to What's his name? You've grown a lot as an artist from the last time I've met you. Like, we was talking before we got on camera. It's, it's gotten to the point where, like, you was trying to make music to fit in, and now you make music for yourself. Who do you make music for? Like, who's your audience? You make audience... For, do you make music for the kids? You make music for older people? What is your audience, do you think, True Packs, that is that you could go to on a daily basis? My audience is, like, anybody between, like, maybe 14... To 25, from anywhere. Like, you could be from the suburbs, you could be from the projects, you could be anywhere. As long as you're going through something or you've seen something, you're going you to relate. You're going to feel me. And you want something for real, like, you're trying to get out there, you're going to relate to my music. So, anybody like that, ambitious and just need hope. No cap. Heard you. And what's your race? I'm Dominican. You're Dominican? Yeah. Heard you. So, you're Dominican rapper. Yeah, I'm a Dominican rapper. No I like cap. that. I like that. And, and where you from? A lot of people don't know where you from either. You mean like in DR or over here? No, over here. I'm from like Williamsburg. Williamsburg, Williamsburg and Bushwick. Yeah, both spots. That's where I be at. Let's talk about RTD because RTD has grown tremendously as well. You've added members. You've you've had pop-up shops. You've done a lot. And you, you're the CEO and founder. You have done, like, I'm telling you, this kid has done a lot in the past year since we see him. Like, look at him. He even has facial hair. Like, come on. For real, like, what is what is RTD going to be in the next, like, year? Because I've seen, seen one year's progress. You had clothing lines, pop-up shops. You guys dropped the tape together. What's his name? You have multiple artists that have multiple sounds. What's next? We're going to do another tape. Probably going to drop next year, but it's going to be more serious. Because this one was more, like, just throwaways on it. We're going to do more clothing. We're probably going to drop a whole bunch of shit, bro. Jackets, hoodies. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It gets real. Hold on. It gets real. It gets real. This is his first piece of clothing right here. You feel me? I had to bring it to the interview so y'all could see how different it is from the ones that they got on. Yo, Mars, so can, can you come to the camera real quick? Come to the camera real quick. Yo, this he's a part of RTD. Yo, this is... Look at the difference between this, the material, to one of the, their first hoodies, bro. Oh, this, is the fir this is the first hoodie that they ever had. So right here, you show, you show. Now, Mars, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Yo, introduce the people who you are. It's Raw Star Mars. You already know RTD, the family hey, gang. You feel me? You feel me? We all here. We family. And they, he, gave me, he gave me this when I first met him. And it says, I think more at night. Does this still apply? Were um, I think way more in there, bro. Heard you. That's what helped me make the project. Okay. All right, so real quick, Mars, before you get out of here, because it's two packs, time to shine. I got you though, my brother. Feel me? But I got a question. You see, you see, True Packs is the leader, the CEO of RTD. What is one thing that you could could pick up from him and be like, yo, like this, this, this dude is what? What is the one thing you learned from him? Persistence, for real, like hard work, like like you gotta intensify everything you're working on. Like you can't be scared to do nothing. Like it's just it's moments like that that keep him as a leader. Like 
it's just that's that's how I feel. Feel me? Like he's nice. He's just too too real. <laughs> I appreciate that, bro. Good looking, good looking, bro. But yeah, I had to bust out this sweater, bro, to show the change, bro. The change in how, bro, even the merchandise. This looks like this. Not saying this is whack, cause it was never whack. But like it's like you could just see the thought process, and you just it was faster to think of this and the remember, the remember the dreams. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and then you, bro. If people really listen to True Packs, you would listen to the growth and how he's changed as an artist, person, thinking like this is an example right here. I had to, I had to, I had to bring this out, bro. I had to bring this out. My out, nigga, bro. feel me? That's one of the first. Yeah. I ain't seen this shit in years, bro. bro. Yeah, bro. I had I to bring it. Like three of them shits. Never saw them shits again, bro. Yeah. Nah, I had to bust this out, bro. This is in my closet. I I wear this when I gotta. You feel me? Go smoke. Yeah. Sneaky links. <laughs> feel me? Little shit like that. Listen, yo, you better edit that out for real. My girl gonna see this. She gonna be tight. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking crying now. I fuck that shit. Nah, for real. Yo, how's your how's your um your family? How's your mom doing? Thank God. Corona, everything going on. How's she feeling? Thank God she good. You know, she just a little paranoid with this going on, but she good though. Like she, you know, she's safe. Don't got no corona, none of that. That's good, bro. This project that just came out, you said you had a music video that you recorded a few days ago. What's the song called? It's called Checkup. Probably gonna see that video a couple days, yeah. maybe a week. You know, it's coming though. It's coming. No okay. cap. What's the music video based on? Cause I, I never seen I never seen no snippets on Instagram. Did you keep it low key this time? I kept it super low key. We went to like, bro, we went to the Corvette. Mad shit happened. Let me tell you after this shit, bro. Bro, we went to the Corvette. We went out to Jersey, like an hour from here. We just shot a video on some regular shit. Cause if you see my last two videos, they both had a concept. And the first one I got kidnapped. The second one is like I'm in this dark room with the mask on. This one I just wanted to lay back and just have my fun with the taste and just just do what I want to do on the video. Yeah, no cap. So the song's called Check In. Check Up. Check Up. Yeah. So, yo, we're going to take a break. We're going to listen to the song Check Up. It's number two on Forever No Nostalgic, right? Yeah. It's Will Gates. You already know what's going on. Drop the heat. AN Studios. My boy True Packs is left to me. We're going to be right back. Always wanted some designer, and I'm smoking marijuana. Always focus on the dollar, see the pen and on the collar. Nigga, I work for this shit. Nigga, my mama did it, birth me to be worthless and shit. Cause That's I pray for this Nigga might be talking But I swear that he ain't saying shit ain't saying Nigga say he love you But he laying with another bitch with another That's a sucker shit If a nigga try to play you girl Tell him suck your dick Look Check up on this side I can never switch side I was trapping all day Midnight was, was the kiss time Check up on this side I can never switch side I was trapping all day Midnight was the kiss time. Midnight was yeah. the kiss time. Take a ball on this side. I can never switch sides. I was trapping all day. Midnight was, was the kiss time. Day. Worked two jobs and I barely saw pocket change. Uh -huh. I was going through a nigga. Never thought that I could change. But those demons real. You face real stress when you gamble, spin the wheel. Love ain't easy, nigga, but family ain't better. I'm happy in the booth. I be vibing with my letters, nigga. Look. Take a ball on this side. I can never switch sides. I was trapping all day. I understand you got a handful. Life kicked the storm, you just want a sample. You just trying to stack up, take a trip to Cancun's hood, got you fucked up, spark the hell and gamble. Told us to go to school, man, but we in a rush. Trying to learn money, shit, they don't give a fuck. You cracking cars, get the iPhones for Christmas, bruh. Till we getting caught up, shit, we out of luck. But we good people, we just impatient, man. Society is truly lethal. We want designer clothes, you popping all these desert eagles. Invest a property, something that could actually feed you. You feeling discouraged, man, shit, like who believe you? We all young, but we stress as hell. Whether you 
a school, man, it's tryna bust a cell Going through it with your girl, oh, you locked in jail Just keep your head on my nigga, shit, he will prevent Take a ball on this side I can never switch sides I was trapping all day I was trapping all day Midnight was the kiss time Take a ball on this side I can never switch sides I was trapping all day At midnight was a kiss time Midnight was a kiss time I was trapping all day Midnight was a kiss time We just witnessed the premiere of the video to what? Checko. Checko. Feel me? I'm not going to lie. This is pre-recorded. I'm not going to lie. It's all going to be worth it. Because I got true packs. Speaking real true facts to the left of me. Yo, what is one thing you want to say to your viewers back at home at Brooklyn? What's some advice that you could give them? To my fans, you want to keep your, your head above water. You got to really control the way you think. Feel me? Like you gotta know what you're doing. Think twice before doing anything, cause one simple mistake gon' gon' change your whole life. You know you gotta be real ambitious when you're in this shit. No cap. Last time I last time we was here, I asked you, "What do you see yourself in the next five years?" And you told me, "Oh, I see myself like a big CEO. Like I have an empire. We doing this, we doing that." And a year passed. So, what do you see yourself in the next four years? <laughs> On the same time, bro. I'm playing, I'm playing. I know you gonna say that. I just want to be funny. Nah, no cap. Same time, we just gonna be on top of everything, bro. Mm -hmm. Rapping wise, empire wise, all that shit, bro. Yo, how how hard is it? How hard is it? Um, being being a rapper and being in a relationship. In a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we gotta know, man. Cause I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people say it cannot be done, but you're doing it. It's easy, bro. You just gotta have if you gonna have a partner while you rapping, bro. You gotta make sure she gonna understand when you working. Like yeah. if you say, "Yo, I'm doing this right now," she gonna understand that, and that's really that's really all it takes, bro. She's not gonna understand that and try to put herself over music. Sometimes that it's not gonna work. Cause sometimes you you know you put her over for certain things, but not everything. Like when it comes to a move, it gotta go first. No cap. Heard you. A lot of we got rappers take notes. You heard? What's his name? If there's anything that you could do different on on. On this on this project now that it's out, what is one thing that you could change? I know you posted on Instagram today that you would say you could push it back because of everything that's going on today, but obviously you can't do that because you know iTunes they once they accept it you can't really push it back. All the streaming services, I understand how it goes. But what's one thing you could change on the album that you like? Damn, I wish I would have put this song. I wish I would have took not put that song. Do you have one of those regrets or one of those doubts? I have regrets at first, like yeah. certain songs I didn't want to go on there. I was just like. Like, certain songs, I feel like I had to redo, redo, redo. Like, the vibe didn't fit. Like, All Right, for example, the third track, I didn't think it was good enough. I was going to take it off. But, like, people actually fuck with that song OD. So, I'm glad I left it on there. But the real regret I have is not working with more people on the album. I only got one feature, technically two. Because if you listen to uh, number 12, Mars is actually on the fucking, like, ad-libs to that shit. So, like, it's two features, technically. But, like, one listed feature. I wish I would have worked with, like, at least five artists because it's 16 songs. But, you know. So how's that? That shit doing well right now. Numbers running. People fucking with it. It's doing what it has to do. Give me a song, Chef G, bro. I do need... Yo, bro, that's... Give me a song, Chef G, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You got a good voice. You got a good voice. I'm not gonna lie. It's like... The song I, the song I hear is like you rapping fast and then this nigga Chef just slowing the song down like, look. <laughs> Nah, no cap. Like him slowing down the, slowing down the whole shit. Like y'all could go back and forth. I could hear a song with both of y'all, both of y'all, both of y'all from Brooklyn as well. I'm trying to work with Chef G, bro. Not gonna lie, been trying to connect a couple pieces, get that done, bro. No cap, that would be crazy. I've been talking about that for like a month now, bro. My man is like really trying to get connected with him, cause like, yo, I'm telling you, bro, that's a banger. It is. That's a banger. Anybody else you want to work with that's in the music industry right now? That's in the music industry. Coming up or like just in general? Um, both. Give me one that's coming up and one that's that's hot right now. Uh, if I had to pick somebody that's hot right now, I'd probably say I want to work with Herb. I feel like me and Herb on the song, like if you on this shit, it's going to sound crazy because we're going to be on the same time and just venting on the beat and shit like that, like he did on his new shit. That would sound, that would sound interesting to me, bro, because I'm not going to lie, Herb. I nigga Herb, I don't know. He, 
You'll be on the B Hill. Go. I don't, bro, I don't know. I don't, I don't see. I don't know if I can see y'all on the song together. I'm going to keep the whole stack with you. But just because of him, though. Not you. Because of him. Like, you feel, what I'm, you feel what I'm saying? Like, the nigga be on... He, he be on some weird timing on the beat. So I love Herb, though. You know, I was at the concert. I was at the concert that he was at. But, like, Herb just be fucking... I just be stacking this, stacking this, stacking my dogs. Like, all up in the middle of the fucking... To freestyle when it's not even the time to just go. You just jump in the beat when it's not time, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But you all key and everything. Yeah, bro. Like, it's weird. Like, he be doing that, bro. It's not that he's like... But it be sounding fire. Though. It be sounding fire, bro. And it's not even that it's all V. He just go from like... Instead of going 1-4, he going on 2 and 3, bro. Mm-hmm. Feel me on the beat. That shit sound fire, though, bro. Yeah, I'm not I feel you. I feel you. And what, what about somebody upcoming? Upcoming? Yeah. I'm saying I'm somebody like... Probably Justin Rory. Oh. Um, the, the the kid with the tats. Yeah. The grills. He got grills. What's his name? Where he from? He's from the city. The Bronx. From the Bronx. Um, yeah, I met him. I met him at um SOBs at a JR show. Yeah. He, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, I get to meet you. But um, it was. I mean, hopefully, I get to interview one day. But it was. A weird interaction. I'm not gonna lie. It was. I don't know. He a star already to, in his head. You feel me? He a star already. But like, that's a good. That's a good feature, I guess. Justin, Rory. <laughs> Why do you like Justin Rory? His music is, you know, it's good. Like I never met him as a person. No, you know, not like that. But like, when it comes to the music, he putting out. He, he putting out some heat right now. No yeah. cap. That shit crazy though. No problem. No problem. That music not really my lane, but it's all good. What about you? What you what you what you listen to? Yeah. From Uzi Straight, yeah, that's my type of vibe too. What's his name? Before we get out of here, bro, can you talk about how you feel and what your stance is on this whole George Floyd situation? I feel like the protests, they're really doing something with that, but like when it comes to the looting, some people are not being respectful to it. Like they're not really protesting no more. They're looting like black businesses and stuff like that. That's not the right way to go. We're trying to protest for, you know, the black community. You know, I'm Dominican, so, you know, there's black in my blood. So we all got to fight together when it comes to that. People not understanding that it's not going to stop unless we start a revolution. Mm-hmm. So it's going to probably come to the point where it's going to be a war, bro. But, like, in the future, it's going to be worth it. It's going to take some time, though. My boy, that's true facts. We're speaking real true facts to the left of me. Is there anything you want to say to anybody before you get out of here? Tell them where you can find your album, where they can stream, search for you, follow your Instagram, all of that. Yo. Nah, that's... <laughs> nah, go, go, go. You go, you go. You can find me at True Packs on everything. Instagram, Spotify, SoundCloud. Everywhere is just True Packs. And shout out to anybody who's tuning in that already listened to the project. I really doing this shit while everything's going on. Y'all tuning in. And I love y'all for that. Yo, this is Will Gates. You already know what's going on. Drop the heat. My boy True Packs to left of me. Go stream for, forever no nostalgic, right? Go stream forever with no nostalgic. It's out everywhere. Streaming everywhere on Apple, SoundCloud. Is it on SoundCloud? Nah, not on SoundCloud. Yeah, you see, go, go buy that shit. It's not for free. Go buy that shit. My boy True Packs worked hard on that. He's here on Drop the Heat. I hope to see you again, my boy. Yo, it's Will Gates right here at AN Studios. We out. One minute, 37 seconds later. Nah, all right, bet, bet, bet. We, we back. I was lying. I was lying. My boy got a book that he wrote that came out with the album. How many rappers you know that's doing that? Come on, can you talk about this book that you just that came out with this album, bro? So, the book is only available for pre-order right now, but it's going to come out in a couple of days. I had to delay it. It's supposed to come out the same day, but, yo, I wrote basically a chapter for each, like, song on the track list, like, in order. So, Exhausted, then Check Up, and, like, I wrote... Why I like either why I wrote the song or how I feel about what was going on when I was writing the song, shit like that. It's just a chapter that describes the song, really. It's just fire, and it's the same price as the album. Not gonna lie, send me the send me the the book how it looks and everything so I can include it in this interview, bro. I'm not gonna lie, this shit's fire. Yo, Will Gates, now we out here for a fact, for a fact. We done seen way too much, yeah We done seen way too much And these niggas do too much, yeah